Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone. My name is Nabila binti Rahmat and I'm from Faculty of Education UITM Punca Alam, Selangor, Malaysia. So I'm here going to present the result of my research which title is The Effect of Time Management on Academic Performance Among Undergraduate Student Athletes in UITM Punca Alam. So let's take a look one by one. Okay, for the research background, nowadays, the majority of today's college students take part in a wide range of extracurricular, right? Thus, a variety of involvement in the activities may interfere with their academic performance. Unfortunately, they have fallen behind due to poor time management, especially some of the students' athletes are busy with their training schedule and also involved with the tournament while need to complete their assignment at the same time. So they need to balance their time and manage it well to succeed in both areas. So in this research, the academic performance of the student athletes was assessed based on whether the academic performance is positively or negatively affected by their ability to manage their time effectively. Okay, on the next slide, this research focuses on the student athlete time management skills that give effect academic performance at the University of UITM Puncha Alam. So it is currently necessary for students to learn time management skills so that they can focus on their studies and sports at the same time. Student athlete uh, commonly face a significant amount of pressure as they struggle to maintain a proper balance between their time uh, academic responsibility and also uh, their sports obligation. So this increased degree of stress could be attributable in part to the fact that uh, they have less time to perform their tasks. So if they spend most of their time preparing for sports rather than studying, it may affect their academic performance. So uh, this statement uh, uh, according to Bilonit J 2020. So sport enthusiasts said that Sport involvement drives students to work more by being motivated, going to school, and striving for better grades. Why Wildman and Afferman, 2004, discovered in contrast to student athletes in high school, those competing at the collegiate level are expected to be responsible for their academic performance. When entering college, student athletes do not necessarily view academic as the most important aspect to focus on. Uh, it primarily because they are trying to reach a higher level in their sports, according to Matt Dougal and Capers 2012. Hence, uh, the purpose of the current research is to find out whether the time management skills of student athletes will affect their academic performance or not. So it is crucial to know how student who is an athlete at the same time manage their time between study and training and to see if their time management has affected their academic performance. All right, here is the research objective. There is three. First is to identify the student athlete perception of time management. Second research objective is to explore how the student athlete manage their time between studying and training. And the third research objective is to determine the relationship between time management and academic performance among undergraduate student athletes in UITM Puncha Alam. Okay, for the literature review, I have divided into two aspects, which is time management. And the second one is academic performance. So there are a few results given from the previous researches. So let's take a look. Right. Uh, firstly, according to the previous research as cited by Adams, RV, and Blair E. 2019, time management skills have been shown to have a positive effect on student learning and student outcomes. So individuals can structure and control their activities through the time management. Especially as a student athlete, balancing their sport and academic at the same time is quite challenging. So students who can develop time management strategy and set appropriate work goals for themselves provide a safe regulatory framework. Okay, and the second is uh, according to the Owen Jeffrey 2019, time constraint and the pressure to perform both in the classroom and on the field are two of the main factors that affect student athlete academic performance during the competitive set, uh, season. So between studying, training, travels, game, friend, and family are a few of the competing demands that student athletes must balance and manage well. So the effect they are the ineligible to play and cannot graduate on time because they are on the work, uh, they are on the wrong track. Okay. So the third is uh according to Hamatani et al. Uh, 2019 stated that to succeed in both academy and sports, student athletes must have excellent time management skills. So despite having a busy schedule, each student must 
create a priority list that indicate the most important goals to achieve first and follow it accordingly. This is because uh, they will complete their regular tasks smoothly. And the fourth one is according to the Nastula Fit S and Han Fit and S 2015, student academic performance and achievement are greatly enhanced by effective time management. As a result, each student should have the ability to effectively manage their time. Hence, uh, as a student athlete who play a big responsibility and many tasks, uh, they should be handling their time properly and manage all this matter to make it balanced with all aspects. Okay. Okay, on literature review for academic performance, uh, based on Narat A and Abdullah B, 2016, determined that if student athletes could figure out the ideal approach to learn and study, they would be able to figure out their uh, learning style and educate themselves on which study technique work best for them. So in the perspective of view of student athlete, uh, students who participate in sport are more likely to achieve higher academic goals and also have a greater educational ambition and have better academic performance. Okay, the second one is according to Krishal A. Tungpalan, 2020. Uh, to maintain minimum academic eligibility and meet their sport time and energy requirement, student athletes must be able to effectively manage their time and study skills. So some student uh, athletes need to allocate their ability to focus on academic and also at the same time uh, can overcome external tasks. Okay, for the third one is uh, according to uh, APA D and Sarpong E 2015, uh, even university athletes who have a good balance of academic and also athletic motivation struggle to find the time they need to succeed in both classes and on the field at the same time. So this is because uh, they might be struggling to complete their academic assessments such as a presentation, a report, uh, assignment, project, and also sitting for the examination. So after a long day of training sessions, student athlete might feel exhausted to settle up their academic tasks. Therefore, they let time for study and also assignment. Nevertheless, involving in sport activity could be beneficial in certain aspects, especially in health. If student athletes are physically healthy, uh, they might have a high energy to sustain through study. Uh, it also will give a positive effect on their cognitive thinking. So uh, the last, uh, the fourth one is according to Kaplan A. Karnas G. Exorum M. 2017. As a result of improved psychological health, habit formation, and brain changes that support, changes that, uh, support uh, cognitive, cognitive function and learning physically, activity uh, may help students achieve better academic outcomes. Alright, now let's take a look on the research methodology. Okay, this study area uses a quantitative method where the data analysis is collected from the questionnaire. And this quantitative research in the study was descriptive and also correlational research, which a descriptive method was used to determine the demographic profile of the respondent, student athlete perception of time management, and also how student athlete manage their time between studying and training. Alright, this study uh, is conducted uh, among undergraduate student athletes in UI Temperature Alam. Uh, so the samples being selected using convenience sampling approach, which means uh, respondents were selected from those who are willing and also available. So uh, to uh, 202 respondents uh, were chosen from the student athlete from the Physical and Health Education Department in Faculty of Education at Temperature Alam, Selangor, Malaysia. So the participants were drawn from uh, semester 1 until semester 8. And the researcher delivered the questionnaire uh, to the student from physical and health education student at uh, random, while uh, the questionnaire is uh, distributed using uh, snowballing. Besides, uh, a questionnaire was used to study the relationship between time management and academic performance among undergraduate student athletes at temperature alum among physical and health education students. Besides, uh, the questionnaire for quantitative research used time management questionnaire, which is TMQ, which was designed by Britain and Tesla, uh, 1991 for college student and this questionnaire was used uh, because it examines student athlete time planning and their attitude toward time management okay then uh, for the uh, next section is academic performance questionnaire has adopted uh, the questionnaire based on Joshua Bilonit 2020 okay for the questionnaire uh, are consists of three sections, which are section A is demographic profile, section B is time management inventory, 
uh, and section C is academic performance. So, uh, however, the question from section B is divided into three subtopics, which is uh, short-term time management, time attitude, and also long-term time management. Okay, so here the procedure and process of the data collection. So, there are eight process to go through uh, of interpret the data. Alright, for the data analysis, uh, we run the data using uh, SPSS version 26, which is Statistical Package for Social Science. Uh, so here, uh, the three research objectives to go through the data analysis. For the first research objective, uh, we do discrete analysis by uh, running the normality test and then uh, we use uh, discrete statistic by checking the mean standard deviation rank and percentage. For the second uh, research objective, uh, we do the same thing which is descriptive analysis by run the normality test and then also the same uh, we do descriptive statistic which is mean standard deviation rank and percentage and then for the last uh, research objective uh, we do the correlation which is uh, we use PSN correlation to analyze. All right, now let's see the research finding, which is the result of this research, and we discuss a bit of uh, the result. Okay, for the first uh, research objective for this study is to identify the student athlete's perception of time management. So in this study, uh, we found out that the majority of the student athlete from physical and health education are having an excellent sense of control over their time, which is uh, a valuable property in their time management. So uh, actually, this result of this study are consistent with the previous research by Oyuga et al. 2016, uh, in uh, which is uh, where the students who have a positive self perception of their ability to manage their time also tend to have a greater involvement in class and also strong uh, drive uh, to succeed, all of which contribute to a higher overall level of uh, academic achievement. Okay, uh, for the second research objective uh, of this study, uh, so, uh, the results show that the item that were domi dominating the highest mean score shows that the majority of the student athletes believe that when they have a several task to complete, uh, it is ideal to work on each of them incrementally rather than all at once. So, uh, actually, uh, this result is concurrent with the study of Simon et al. 2015 uh, that have suggested that Effective time management is the most effective strategy for achieving the level of academic success uh, that is needed by letting the student develop a priority list that indicate uh, to them which target is more critical to accomplish initially and also uh, then following uh, the list properly. So the finding for, uh, from the previous researcher also consistent with the current research item with the second highest mean score. Uh, it shows that majority of all student athlete physical and health education, establishing priorities and making a listing throughout the day is essential for them to achieve their own goals. So a result from this finding also support uh, Britain and Taser 2014 that a student will not perform as well as those individuals who have skills in the management of their time inventory. Hence, uh, it is important to have a proper planning of time by making priority uh, by making prioritizing which tasks or activities need to be completed first. Okay, and then for the third research objective for this study, based on the finding, shows that there are a significant relationship between time management and also academic performance. Uh, according to Hamza, Lucky, and Jordan 2014, indicate that there is a significant and positive correlation between time management and the academic performance of students. Besides, the result of this study is also consistent with the research of Bilonit J 2020, where the involvement in sports found no negative effect on the academic performance of athletes. Uh, hence, uh, the result of the current study of undergraduate student athletes in UITM Pucha Alam showed that uh, proper planning of time management has a significant effect on their academic performance. Okay, to conclude all the results that have been discussed, uh, this finding uh, will moderately correlated and there is a significant relationship between time management and academic performance. So based on this study, uh, coaches and administrators can use this research as guidance to gain knowledge about time management and the uh, same goes for the student athlete itself. Uh, so it is very crucial to prioritize all the tasks uh, or the activity by scheduling or listing them one by one and also completing them from the most important assignment. So it is needed in every student athlete uh, to 
improve their skills in managing time to perform well in both academic and also sport participation. Alright, uh, that's all. Thank you very much.